Hey loves, welcome back. I don't quite know how I filled my empties basket once again, but I have. I, I really do get through a hell of a lot of products. I love all the things and I use all of the things. I probably overuse all of the things anyway. It's time once again for my product empties. I've got a great selection of hair care, skin care, body care, hand care, tanning, lots of things today if you haven't seen an empties video before oh you've been missing out they're like my favorite videos to watch basically an empties video goes through all the products a person has used up in their entirety so the products are empty which means that you get a really good idea of what the product is like because you've used it all and the key is if you'd repurchase it i think if you would buy it again or you've bought it again then that speaks volumes i have got into the habit of organising. Before I just have a big old bin of just mishmash of packages and bottles, but I've, who am I? I've set them out so we can kind of go through category by category. Anyway, let's get on with it and go through the recent beauty products I've used up. Let's start with tanning and the brand that has changed my tanning game. I never used to fake tan because I've had too many disasters been there done that like all the disasters you can think of I've had them and I just I figured like in my 40s tanning wasn't for me but I was wrong I discovered bronzy it's an independent British brand Australian made vegan cruelty free pita approved one pound from every tanning product from their website gets donated to melanoma UK which is incredible anyway the products I've used up I have used up the ultimate gradual tanner and the ultimate tanning oil I've got it on now I tanned what's like three days ago and the color is just so so beautiful so the tanning oil is really really hydrating the guide color is scarily dark like the first time we used it I was petrified really dark which I love because I can see that I've got it everywhere and I don't miss any spots I have used the whole bottle and not once have I had any kind of mistake hydrates it smells like sexy sophisticated aftershave it's got an incredible smell it doesn't smell like fake tan so if your partner or you know doesn't like you tanning because of the smell then they're going to enjoy this it just smells divine and it gives the most golden realistic olive tone color fades beautifully i just everything i want from a fake tan this gives me i just can't rave highly enough about this so i use this like once a week exfoliate put this on sleep in it wash it off in the morning and i'm i'm, I'm and i'm tanned and then every every day whether i've tanned or not i use the ultimate gradual tan this has got a hint of color like a hint of buildable um fake tan so if you use it over three four five days you will build up a really beautiful natural golden color but for me it's the ingredients like both of these they've got kakadu plum which is really high in vitamin c macadamia nut oil aloe vera like so luxurious and hydrating and the ultimate dries really quickly doesn't leave any kind of residue again smells beautiful just two of my favorite body products tanning products ever if you struggled with fake tan then you need to try those i just I, these have been in my favorites i will just i just love them I love them very, very much. Just amazing, amazing products. Let's go on, should we move on to skincare? Actually, let's start. We've done fake tanning. You know I'm obsessed with SPF. My favorite SPF brand is Ultra Sun. It's the one beauty product I've repurchased and used the most ever, ever. Like this is the product that's been with me for years and years and years. This is a big one of the SPF 30 moisturizing anti-aging sun protection for your face. Now that it's approaching the summer months, I've jumped up already to 50. So I use SPF every single day of the year on my face, neck, ears, full shebang. Um, winter months, you know, rubbish months, 30. Spring, summer, holidays, 50. They do a really beautiful 50 plus. Sinks in, makeup wears beautifully on top. Long wearing, you get like eight hours plus of wear. It's not greasy, it's not oily, doesn't make me break out. It's just the best it's just the best so i finished one of those if you've seen any of my empties videos before you'll know i'm a big fan of the brand beauty bio they make incredible skincare products so i tried the perfecter the four in one skin perfecting silk broad, broad spectrum spf 30 um i mean look at the state of it <laughs> bit mucky i liked it so it kind of has a blurring pore filling effect it has 
a pink colour that slightly adjusts. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it just because it just didn't, for me, compare to my Ultra Sun. I just, I love Ultra Sun so, so much, but I did use it. It's a physical, like, mineral sunscreen. Um, it, I mean, it's, it's nice. It's really nice, and it did a good job, but it just, I just didn't love it as much as my Ultra Sun. So, yeah, yeah you know, you know. More skincare. So, I finished the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm. The Elemis cleansing balms are some of my favorites i've now tried the rose the neroli but my favorite is the classic scent so i already have a classic scent ready to go ready i'm trying something else right now but once that's done i'm gonna go back onto the classic beautiful rich hydrating luxurious incredible balm i use it in the evening take my makeup off go in with um, a balm just a great great product i liked the smell but it wasn't my favorite and then i finished an elemis pro collagen marine cream i've been using this in the day another product i've used for years actually i use it I, it's always in my skincare ro rotation i've been using this and a espar one at the moment and i was just using alternating the days actually great products really hydrating comfortable moisturizing just does all the things I want from a moisturiser. I will definitely repurchase this, definitely. This, oh, this was interesting. I got this in a Look Fantastic bundle, I believe. Anyway, this is by 111 Skin. I never know how to say the brand. And this is the Rose Gold Radiance Boosting Serum. I used all of this in the morning. It's a really lovely, hydrating, comfortable, lightweight serum. I was really excited about this. The best sheet masks I've ever used where the rose gold ones by this brand, just incredible, so expensive. Um, I got them in a FabFit fun box. Anyway, I liked this. I wouldn't repurchase it one because it's really expensive and I don't feel like I noticed a dramatic difference. I mean, I say this a lot with skincare because I use so many products. It's very difficult to pinpoint one particular product to, you know, and say, hey, that is the one product that did everything. Um, I think, it, more importantly it's just about having a really good solid skincare routine and sticking to it and doing it religiously so yeah i can't say if this was a game changer but i really enjoyed it it does have kind of like a pearlescent look to it so it does contain some kind of glittery particles almost which i don't know if i, I need that in my skincare but as a product refreshing hydrating and I enjoyed it. If it was on offer or it came in another bundle, I would absolutely use it again. But just for me, purchasing it myself, spendy, spendy. Another serum that I have already repurchased is the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Vitamin C Intense Daily Serum. This is a time-release vitamin C complex for brighter, clearer skin. I always use a vitamin C in the day. Retinol at night. Lovely serum. Sinks in hydrating it smells classically of emma hardy products i really really enjoyed this it is expensive it is quite expensive but i've used another one i'm going to use that one up and then i'm going to make a decision if i'm going to buy it again or switch to something else but i really really enjoyed that some cleansers i finished the what brand is this i don't even know is this elizabeth arden yes the elizabeth arden provage provage anti-aging treatment boosting cleanser i like a good foaming face wash in the morning and that is what this is it's really nice i haven't repurchased it um i got this in a elizabeth arden bundle i really enjoyed it used it all up waving it around um yeah it's, a, it's it was really pleasant did a good job didn't overstrip my skin comfortable just yeah you know it's it, it was nice it was nice another one that i enjoyed but i might not repurchase look at the state of it it took me a really long time to go through this so much so you can see where it's been sat in my bathroom and the sun's faded the top how what was it expiration of oh, the 12 months i didn't have it longer than that i don't think this is by pixie and this is the glow mud cleanser with five percent glycolic acid and aloe vera a deep and it's a deep purifying cleanser it's i don't know if you can see any of it oh a bit left there it was like a kind of like a clay kind of cleanser and um i enjoyed it i didn't use it every day because 
I also use, you know, either the Pixi Glow Tonic or the Ren AHA Toner, which also has glycolic acid. So I would use this maybe like once a week, twice a week. And it did a really good job, left my skin feeling really nice. I just, I like in the morning using a foaming kind of cleanser that just, I don't know, like, you're, if you're like me, you'll get it, you'll get it. So it was pleasant, just not a product I need, I don't think, if that makes sense. I finished the Body Shop Rose Dewy Glow Face Mist. I think I got this in a Body Shop Advent Calendar or I don't know where I got this. Um, yeah, I won't repurchase this. I used it up just for the sake of using it up like it was in my bathroom. I didn't, this is going to sound ridiculous, I didn't use it during my skincare routine. I just use it up to use it up during the day. So like if I go to the bathroom, wash my hands and then I just kind of spray it just so I didn't waste it doesn't make sense now that I'm saying it out loud I feel like it was really highly perfumed I'm not sure should we have a look does it say oh I can't see that um just didn't do much for me smelt fresh I think it smelt all right just it was like one of those where it looks meh yeah no nah, not for me as always I think there's one of these in all of my empties videos I've lost the lid but this is by Waken this is the mouthwash favorite mouthwash is alcohol free so if mouthwashes sting and burn your mouth then i suggest you check out waken this is the new strawberry and mint flavor already repurchased it was like a grown-up bubblegum flavor so nice refreshing really great job new plastic packaging so the old packages were like aluminium bottles and these are 50 percent recycled plastic and 50 percent plant-based plastics Amazing brand, absolute favourite when it comes to mouthwash. Okay, let's move on to body products. If you like lavender, you're going to absolutely love this. I would repurchase it. I haven't done yet, but this is by Neil's Yard. This is the lavender bath salts. Um, it says restores and relaxes. It's a mineral rich sea salt infused with a relaxing organic lavender essential oil, 350 grams, glass tub. I would recycle it, but I think I'm going to try and repurpose it. Um, just if you like lavender, it's just so lavender, really, really strong. Like you put a little bit of, you put a little bit in your bath and it fills the whole entire room and out into the, wherever your room leads to your bathroom. It's basically sea salt, lavender oil. That's it. It's just salts and oil and the oil, no nasties, no extra ingredients, just smells so good so relaxing i would definitely get this again definitely i can't really see this because i've lift, squished the living daylights out of it um ugh. this is the grown alchemist body cream i think i got this in a fab fit fun maybe um it's a i'm gonna try and read the squished up writing a body cream formulated with potent ingredients that noticeably nourish, moisturise, smooth and visibly restore. Blah, blah, blah. Just a really nice body lotion. I like this a lot. Um, sunken good, hydrated. Yeah, it's a good, solid <laughs> body lotion. Um, I can't remember what it smells like, actually, but it's vegan. You know, all the good stuff. Um, I'd get that again, I think. Yeah, yeah. What's this? E-cooking. Oh, I love e-cooking. This was the body scrub with a fresh scent of orange, lavender and rose. So this contains Sicilian salt, organic sunflower oil, argan oil, vitamin E, organic shea butter, cocoa oil, I don't know what that is, organic sweet almond oil, like the ingredients are insane. It says it removes dead skin cells. It was really, really granular and gritty, but also really oily and hydrating. I think, if I remember rightly, when I opened it, I was in the bath and I was like, look at this. And I was so blown away with how different it was for a scrub. Like I haven't used a scrub so rich. And I'm going to see if I've got the clip and I'll insert it if I can. But I was a bit like, what the hell? Um, just so hydrating, really gritty. Oh no. I just opened it and it's obviously got bath water in it. And it's all run down my arm and onto my trousers. Great. Um, it didn't sm it didn't smell particularly beautiful but you know 
just oh I left my skin super smooth I would definitely I haven't bought it yet but I would definitely repurchase that another body scrub that I really liked this was by Monu Spa this is the Walnut and Shea Butter body, body Polish so this it was more creamy and gritty whereas that was quite oily and hydrating this wasn't so I would happily use this and I was using this before I'd bronzy in the shower or the bath just to make sure that I was exfoliated. It's the kind of scrub that you could definitely use before a fake tan, like before you used your bronzer if you wanted to, because it didn't leave any kind of oily residue, but it's gritty and granular enough to actually remove some dead skin. I can't remember how it smelled. Oh yeah, no, this was this was pleasant. It was nice. Um again, a big glass jar. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I would, if I had to pick, for body scrub wise, I think oh, the e-cooking one was really lovely, but that's really nice as well. Like in all my empties, a couple of Avon bubble baths. We, As a family, the kids, we get through a lot of those. Really, really affordable, really bubbly, smells nice. Yeah, love those. I finished, this took me, age, well, months, months and months and months a snow fairy shower gel from lush now this was like the big daddy ginormous one i got this at christmas i love the snow fairy scent from lush it's one of my favorites it's very nostalgic for me brings back some beautiful memories and every year i ask for some snow fairy goodies and this took me i mean we're in may i finished this at the end of april um so this literally took me like four and a half four months to finish and I used it every time I showered, which was every single day, basically. Um, love Snow Fairy. I cannot wait for Christmas to roll around again so that I can have some more Snow Fairy products. If you've smelt this, you know, you know. When you know, you know. I've got one random makeup product, which I really love and I am going to repurchase. It's the Peach Perfect Translucent Setting Powder from Too Faced. I have a small mini one that I had from a Sephora bundle for a really long time i hadn't opened it so it hadn't gone off thank the lord um but i use this really quickly beautiful really really lightweight powder great for setting under eyes especially if you're a little bit older because it is so fine it has a peach color but it doesn't you know come off on the skin but it does taste sweet i don't know how but one day some fell into my I promise you it was by accident but some just got into my mouth and it, it was really really sweet I don't know why that is um and it does smell like peach so if you if you hate fragrance then you know maybe not for you but it doesn't linger but it I liked it but as a powder as a setting powder absolutely beautiful definitely use that again let's move on to hair a couple of Aiken 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 products um the bamboo dry shampoo the silicone free really really enjoyed this my daughter is obsessed with Akin Akin and she uses their shampoo and conditioner every time she washes her hair because she is convinced as a teenager that it's made her hair much softer and it gets greasy less quickly she uses all of the the fragrance free ones like this so this is the fragrance free hypoallergenic silicon free sulfate free shampoo so no fragrance sulfate silicones no nasties and it does a really good job i i liked it it's not a product i would personally rush out to get but my teen loves it so we have repurchased massive the massive pump sizes of this because she enjoys it but i do really love and as does she the dry shampoo again silicon free sulfate free no parabens it's made with bamboo powder rather than rice powder i think there's still rice powder in it but there's bamboo powder in it, which is much, much more absorbent. Um, so it does a really good job. It has a white cast, but it does brush out, comb out really quickly. Is it as good as my favourite Living Proof Good Hair Day dry shampoo? No. It's still quite expensive, but it's a really, really good one. So if you're looking for a more natural, you know, more kind of healthy-ish, you know what I'm saying, kind of dry, dry shampoo, then I would definitely check this out. I would repurchase that. I haven't done yet. Talking of Living Proof, I finished the Living Proof Restore Conditioner. The shampoo was in an empties maybe last time or the time before. I can never finish a shampoo and conditioner at the same rate ever because I do two shampoos and one conditioner and less conditioner because I've got short hair and I only put it on the ends of my hair. Um, but this is lovely. This reverses dryness and damage for visibly healthy hair. I would definitely use these again. I love Living Proof. Just a great hair brand that i can rely on and that delivers great results 
yeah i would i definitely would repurchase that this oh it's been in my shower for a really long time it's the it's a 10 miracle daily conditioner um now little backstory i use the it's a 10 um leave-in conditioner the spray one and i've used it for years i often stock up when we go to america and it's available now in the uk from their website thankfully so i've repurchased it but i was obviously in the states rushing around and i picked this up uh, stupidly thinking it was the leave-in conditioner and then i went to my condition the my leave-in conditioner went out went underneath my bathroom sink to get it and i was like this is not this is what is this this isn't the leave-in conditioner so so it's taken me a long time to use it because like i just said with shampoos and conditioners i get through shampoo quick condition not as much so i use this a lot with the akin shampoo or any random shampoo that we had really really lovely lovely product i would repurchase it and probably i'd think about getting the shampoo and conditioner and trying them out together great brand i i think they work yeah oh, look at the state of that a random bath and body works actually i've got two bath and body works purchases this one was the frosted coconut snowball fine fragrance mist and this was the marshmallow pumpkin latte hand soap obsessed with their foaming hand soaps i love them we don't have bath and body works here in the uk so i either stock up when i go to the states or if you're a sucker like me you can buy them through facebook groups there are loads of people that i don't know if they import them or they work in the airline industry they come back with a whole bunch of candles and things so you can buy them you pay a premium for them and then you have to pay postage so it's not the most sort of cost effective way to get bath and body products but if you want them then you can get them and I love, oh yeah, oh, I, I've got already another Bath and Body Works um, foaming soap on the go. Love their body sprays. Just, yeah, I love all the things from that shop, to be honest. Let's do some hand and foot care quickly. I've already repurchased this. This is my favourite foot cream. This is by Margaret Dabs. This is the Fabulous Feet Foot Lotion. This lotion works. So it says here that it reduces hard skin build up and leaves you walking on air and it absolutely does this so before i started to use this i would have to kind of foot file once a week since i've been using this i don't touch a foot file anymore because i just don't need to so it does hydrate and moisturize and it does prevent any kind of dry skin forming so i have repurchased it one pump per foot per night love it smells really nice i think it's got emu oil in it which is a derivative like it comes from the fat from an emu i was a bit like emu oil what the hell but it's anti-inflammatory you can use it if you're pregnant or you have diabetes i love this foot lotion best it's the best a margaret dubs product that um this is the second one now and i haven't repurchased it because it is expensive this is the margaret dabs hand serum i think i had this in last empty or the empties before it's a moisturizing hand serum treatment but it's supposed to be anti-aging and help fade age spots i've got a couple of age spots on my hands and i think this little guy here is 30 pounds so it is spendy you only need a little bit i uh, apply it at night so that the serum can stay on my hands all night rather than wash it off you know the amount of times I do a wee, I put hand products on and I wash them off in 10 minutes. So I put it on at night so it's got time to do its business. And I just don't feel like it faded my age spots. Maybe it's prevented them getting worse or maybe it's prevented more. I don't know. But I wanted to see a visible result and I don't feel like I did. And I did, you know, I used two of them and I feel like that's a good innings. I would get it again if it was on offer because I loved how it felt, but I wouldn't buy it full price. Honest. Keeping it, I'm keeping it real. Random now varnish remover. I got this. It's just a, well, this is an interesting one. This is just a dry brittle nails now varnish remover. Uh, you know what? I didn't rebuy this. I bought just classic, pure, cheapo acetone because I, I don't really care that it has pro vitamin b5 and that because i put it on and wash it off and whatever i just want something to take my nail varnish off really quickly so yeah sally hansen's nice but yeah i went i just got like paint stripper basically and we'll finish off with some hand and face masks things skin republic nail and cuticle hand mask love these now here's a tip here's a little hackaroo 
they're full of serum you put your hands in them leave them on for 15 20 minutes what i did the other day oh, i'm dropping things what i did the other day was i put them on and then i did my cleaning rather than like put rubber gloves on i was doing dusting dusting my shutters sorting stuff out i had these on so i was like cleaning and moisturizing and treating my hands at the same time oh i felt very smug about that but great tip right get these or something similar put them on do all your stuff huh? this was the nip and fab renew retinol fix sheet mask i got this in a nip and fab bundle from look fantastic i love sheet masks i do i just love the whole process and this made my skin look and feel really nice so i would use this again and the last one was the Redal dragon's blood eye mask from the glossy box i think may's glossy box love these love them definitely would use these again oh what a mess so there you go there are my current or there were there that's just all my rubbish all my trash i hope you've enjoyed this let me know in the comments below have you used something rediscovered something used something up or recently that you really really loved or have you got a product that you just repurchased the most time and time again please do let me know if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it ring the notification bell and hit the thumbs up button as well if you enjoyed this thank you so much for your time i hope you have a wonderful day and i'll speak to you really soon take care